Hey, it's Nick here, and you're in the Transparent FX Academy. I'm a top potter on TradingView, and it's time to make another full market breakdown to see exactly what kind of opportunities we can be looking for on the period that we will be analyzing both from a technical and an order flow perspective. So without further ado, let's jump onto the charts. <music> Okay, so let's make a full breakdown of the situation that currently we have on USD CHF. Now, why do I want to speak specifically about USD CHF? Because the pair is very near to providing to us a good trading opportunity. So obviously, I want to make a full breakdown to show you guys exactly what we can be looking for to obviously capitalize on the next potential move. Now, as usual, I will be keeping the video as educational as possible. So first we will be speaking about the technical aspect of this market. We will then go and see what we have from an order flow perspective. So with the commitment of traders, which is what hedge funds are doing in the market. And obviously, if you're able to read what the biggest banks and institutions are doing in the market with the commitment of traders and track how their orders are shifting in time, you do have an advantage over your competition in the market. And by, by putting together these two different types of analysis, we're able to understand where we can be looking for the highest probabilities for the next potential opportunity. So without further ado, let's get straight into the analysis. Now, starting here from the monthly time frame, what we have is a market which has just provided a nice impulse to the downside, followed by this correction. Now, generally speaking, after an impulse and a correction, what you expect is for the market to provide the continuation to the downside, specifically for the creation of a lower low and completion of this impulse correction and impulse pattern to the downside. And in fact, that is exactly what the market did. The market just provided a lower low, completing this impulse correction and impulse pattern to the downside. Going down on the weekly time frame, what do we see? Now, on the weekly time frame, we can see a very interesting scenario. We can see that the market has just failed in breaking below this previous low. Here, we had a quite important low, and now the market has already tried breaking lower but failed, and the market rejected the zone to the upside. So currently we have the possibility to provide a double bottom at, at this zone, which could easily become a triple bottom since the market is about to retest again the zone. And we can expect the market to provide a rejection to the upside, considering that as we have already seen on the monthly, since we have just completed an impulse correction and impulse, we can expect another correction, possibly for the market to make the move to the upside and go and complete the pattern exactly at the previous support which has now turned resistance. Because as you know, in the market, once you have an area of support and that support gets broken to the downside, that previous support is now turned resistance and you expect the market to test this new resistance and possibly reject it to the downside. So at the moment on the monthly and weekly, we expect the market to create a move to the upside to go and retest the previous monthly support, which has now turned resistance here. Going down on the daily time frame, what do we see? Now, on the daily time frame, we have a very interesting scenario and very interesting price action. Now, we had spoken about USD CHF a couple of times in the past. I spoke about USD CHF after the market had provided this W formation. I made a full breakdown when the market was here, explaining all the reasons for which we wanted to see the market create this move to the downside. And in fact, that is exactly what the market did. And when the market was here, I made another breakdown explaining why we wanted to see this continuation to the upside for the creation of a higher high. And again, the market has created a higher high. However, then it rejected the zone to the downside. And by the way, I will link in the description these two previous analysis so you can go and check them out for further reference and more free education. But at the moment, what do we have and how we can be looking for the next opportunity on USD CHF. Hey, just a quick thing, make sure you comment below and you let me know which pairs or topics you would like me to analyze or cover in the next videos. Now, what we have here is a market from a daily perspective is about to create and is creating an overextended M formation. Now, generally speaking, once you have an M formation specifically overextended, 
what you expect is for the market to create a move to the upside, possibly for the market to complete the pattern at the previous support, which is now turned resistance. So here on the daily time frame, we expect the market to create the move to the upside to complete the pattern and create this wave to the upside, which means that we actually have all time frames which are showing the same direction because we have already seen on the monthly and weekly that we wanted to see this market create a move to the upside. And now also on the daily time frame, we do expect the market to give us a nice move to the upside. Now let's go and see what we have from a COT perspective. So commitment of traders, which is what hedge funds are doing in the market. Now, if we check the CHF, what we can what we can see is that on the CHF with the last report, hedge funds have increased their net positions from 9.3K to 11.9K, with 3K longs getting added and 400 shorts getting added as well. However, there is one very important thing that we have to notice. If we look back, we can see that we went from having 15.8K net positions all the way down to having 11K net positions, which means that during this move to the downside, instead of adding more shorts and increasing their exposure to the short side, therefore basically increasing net positions, what they actually did is decrease net positions. And if they're decreasing net positions on the CHF, what they're actually doing is longing USD CHF, which means that overall we have seen this decrease of net positions, which is a quite bullish thing for USD CHF. Because keep in mind, guys, that all currencies on the spot are traded against the USD. So if you're checking the data for the CHF, you're actually checking CHF USD. But if you want to uh, read USD CHF, you have to reverse everything that you see here. So if you see net positions decreasing, it means that it's actually getting quite bullish for USD CHF since the net positions are decreasing on the CHF USD. So what we can see here is that overall, we can definitely expect the market to give us a move to the upside. So at this point, how we will be approaching this kind of opportunity and situation with students, since everything is aligning for a nice move to the upside. Now, as usual, we will be reactive and not predictive. The monthly, weekly and daily timeframes are the best timeframes for the direction of the market. But when it comes to confirmations and entries, the best time frame is the four hours. So what we will be doing with students is monitoring price action from a four hour perspective during this move to the downside. And we will be waiting for the market to shift from a four hour bearish market as we will have to a four hour bullish market. And as soon as the market will shift from a four hour bearish to a four hour bullish market at that point, we will be adding USDCHF on watch list with students. And as soon as the market will provide to us one of our valid entries with students, we will be taking a nice long with a very good risk to reward and very good probabilities at that point for the move to the upside and for the market to go and complete this M formation, which could easily become an overextended M formation at the neckline, which is the previous support now turned resistance. If you made it this far in the video, it would be great if you could smash that like button and comment below. It really does support the channel and support the creation of more free education and analysis for all of you. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. I have a full mentorship program that will teach you exactly the rules of my rule based strategies and also give you every single day a new market breakdown in which I show you exactly how to apply the strategies with entries, stops and take profits, as well as answering every question that you have every single day, including the weekends. So it's a very complete program. It will teach you everything that you need to trade the market consistently. So I will see you in it. The link is in the description or I will see you in the next video.